Hi everybody, this is Mahmoud Zali from 3D Polygon and today I'm gonna show you the easiest way to make sure that your STL or OBJ files have no issue before printing. Some of you may have heard about Mesh Mixer but have no idea that you could easily fix your STL or OBJ files. Now the question is why Mesh Mixer? Well, because it's free, user-friendly and so handy. I'm using this software for almost 5 years before even buying my first 3D printer. You can do a lot of interesting stuff with Mesh Mixer and I'm gonna make more tutorial about the features of this free software. But today, I'm gonna show you how to check and repair your STL files. Let's go! First, we go to MeshMixer.com and at the top right of Mesh Mixer website, you can see the download option. Click on download. And now you can download the files from here. After you installed, you can open Mesh Mixer and import your STL files from here. Or uh, you can simply drag your STL files to the Mesh Mixer. I have a 3D scan file here, for instance, and I want to fix. And first, I want to check if this STL file has no issues, right? And if there is an issue, I can fix it. Like here, uh, I have a hole on the head hair area, and here it's open. So uh, we all know that we. I cannot print this uh, STL file so I have to repair it I go to analysis inspector and you can see that mesh mixer, mesh mixer tells me which area of my 3d model has issues right like, uh, on the chin at the bottom and the hair so I can just click on auto repair and fix the problem It may take uh, a few seconds, just wait. Okay, now my 3D model, my STL file is uh, fully repaired. Uh, now, if we take a closer look at the top, you can see that the hole is filled, the bottom also. And my 3D model, my STL file is now ready to 3D print. And you have to know that uh, you cannot expect miracle from Mesh Mixer. Like this case, if I go to Inspector, Mesh Mixer can identify the problem, can see the gaps, but if I go to Auto Repair, cannot solve it. And it, it's obvious, it needs more uh, modifications. That's why you need uh, software like SolidWorks, GeoMagic, ZBrush, any software that can help you to remake this STL file. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you've learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.